we are creatures of mimicry. We see things happening and we do the same thing. And unfortunately, human beings kind of fall into a rut of not realizing that there's another way and realizing that they can break out of the norm and, and make different choices. A huge percentage of plastic bags end up in the ocean and you know the wind blows particularly here in Cape Town suddenly it looks really nice and clean and for me that's because so much of the uh, litter has ended up in the ocean. It, the plastic then gets caught up into currents in the oceans. There are five gyres, so five ocean currents that swirl around the planet. Once plastic is caught in these gyres, in these ocean currents, it can last for years I and mean, it can just remain in the gyres for years and years and years. All ocean plastic waste is derived from land. It originates on land. So it floats down our rivers or it even just goes down our sewers through the storm drains from the roads, from our streets. Cape Town particularly, I don't believe has more than two or three years left of local landfill. The fact also that a plastic bag can last up to a thousand years in a landfill is even greater reason for us to, to re-look at and rethink the use of the bag. All animals are by nature curious creatures and they will investigate new items in their environment. Seals also fall prey to plastic bags, very much so. Right here in the harbour in Cape Town, we've encountered seals with plastic bags wrapped around them. Once the box fan goes goes over their necks, and of course with the hairs facing back, they can't actually get it off. And from the movement, it just gets uh, tighter and tighter as they grow a bit, and it tears into their flesh. This whole enclosure was made for this reason, just to get them uh, in here and close them up and then you can tackle them. Especially the very bad ones where the, where the, um, the line has gone so deep. Here we go. There you are, my boy. For me, rethinking the bag is creating greater consciousness about the world that we live in, which is imperative because it's our life support system. So yes, ultimately rethinking the bag, for me, must lead to the banning of the plastic bag in South Africa. Parts of the United States, some little towns have actually said that's it, no more plastic bags.